So this is an op-amp um, circuit. Uh, the circuit shown uses an ideal op-amp and receives a 1 microvolt signal. Find the current through the feedback resistor, voltage gain, and the current through the load resistor. So whenever we have an op-amp, we have two conditions that are satisfied all the time. Is that um, there's no current flowing through the op-amp. No current flows through the op amp, the legs of the op amp. I call them legs, but whatever, these two. There's no current over here that would flow through the op amp. And then the other condition is that the voltage at the legs are equal. So the voltage here, V uh, N, is equal to v, v positive. In this problem, we can say V A is equal to V B because V A is v, v N anyway, and then V B is the voltage at the leg, the positive leg. So voltage, let me use star here so that we don't confuse that with negative signs. So voltage at the, let me call that um, VA because in this problem it's VA is equal to VB all the time. Okay, so let's refer to page 209 as well. Let's just open that um, to see if we can use anything there. Uh, on page 209 in your handbook, Okay, so here, um, I always start an op-ham by writing my conditions, basically. So in this case, we have um, an inverting amplifier because the voltage at the positive leg here is equal to zero because it's grounded. So VB is equal to zero. So VA is equal to VB is equal to um, zero. So this is an inverting amplifier. Now, if we had a, if we had a ground here, then V in would be equal to zero. Okay, and that would make it a non-inverting amplifier. Okay, but the um, the circuits are uh, well. I think it's a little. It's just kind of the same as the one here in this book. Uh, yeah, except that we don't have this resistor there. But anyway, so these are the conditions here. No current will flow through uh, the op amp legs, and then the VA, the voltage at the negative leg, is equal to the voltage at the positive leg. So we can go ahead and start a problem. So A, finding the feedback resistor uh, current is it, that's finding IF. Okay, so we can use KCL at this node over here, but never use KCL at the output node. Never do that. So the KCL would be applied here. That I remember that in class to never use KCL at the output node. So let's use KCL here. Okay, so KCL there would be I N is equal to I F plus I A. Now remember, no current will flow through the res through the uh, op amp legs. That's what we said over here. So IA is equal to zero already. We know that. So IA is equal to zero and we can proceed with the problem without IA. So I in, well, since the question is IF, we can say IF then would be um, IN. And how to find IN, we can use Ohm's law here and I is equal to V over R, but the voltage here is the voltage difference, right, through the resistor. So it's V in minus V A, potential difference, over, um, because there are some problems where um, the there's no ground here, and then you would have to find your V A through you know some circuit analysis things so this is not always the case that you have VA is equal to zero not all the time but in this particular problem since it's grounded um, it's equal to zero but the condition that we use here is that they're equal VA is equal to VB because I've seen some problems where it's not grounded and it's like crazy crazy circuit things going around here and then I would have to actually go and find VA right through some circuit analysis but the condition here the important thing to know is that VA is equal to VB okay back to the problem so over RI right over RI so VA is equal to 0 VN was given as 1 
times 10 to the power minus 6 over our i which was 500 times 10 to the power 3 and this is um, 2 times 10 to the power minus 12 so there it is our first answer okay let's do this for question B B is asking us to find a voltage gain let's call that A in the book they call it A okay so V out is equal to A um, V1 minus V2 now the the handbook uses V1 and V2 but really what it is is um, uh, is input the input uh, voltage is what it is so this is uh, Vn and so therefore A is equal to V out over Vn right so we know what Vn is but we don't know what V out is we can go ahead and calculate V out V out would be minus IFRF okay so V out is minus I F or F okay so we know what I F is we already calculated it um, so A is equal to minus um, 2 times 10 to the power minus 12 R F is 1 mega 6 and V in is I in R in, which was already one times ten to the power six. Oh, yes, six. So this can go up, and would be twelve. So twelve and twelve will cancel out, and we would have minus two. So A is equal to minus two. So that's our voltage gain. Okay. Um, now the last question is the current through the load resistor so C basically I L okay if you look at a problem here we can use Ohm's law right because um, I L would be I L would be VC the, poten the potential difference here is VC minus VB but VB is equal to zero so we can say that um, IL is v um, VC over RL but VC is also equal to um, V out right and V out is IFRF so we have IF or F over or L and so this is IF is um, what's IF 2 times 10 to the power minus 12 or F is 1 and or L is 2 times 10 to the power 6 so the 6 and the 6 will go up and they would cancel out so we that's gone to 2 so we have 1 times uh, 10 to the power minus 12 right okay so that's it OPAMs are not really hard I mean they look hard though they look hard um, especially if you're not um, specializing in electronics but I find them really not that hard if we know the conditions and the two conditions here is that there's no current overflow through and then uh, the voltage of the legs are always equal and so you always start your problem from there and then you can basically solve any op-amp problem with these two conditions and just follow your circuit analysis um, circuit analysis techniques really because you know it's just an electronic device uh, whatever so not that complicated at all
Okay. All right. So thanks and uh, see you later. And, you know, you can add comments and subscribe and, you know, write me a message if you have any questions. Thank you.